Watch me create a hardback cover for KDP. Keep watching. Oh, great. I want to learn about this. Oh, good. Are you going to publish a book? Yes, I've got this idea about a little boy who's called Tom and he's no bigger than your thumb. I think that story's already been written. You need to come up with something new. Well, I have had another idea about a wizard called Harry. I think you need to come up with a few more ideas before you start publishing. First, you'll need to go to the print cover calculator and templates page on KDP. The link is in the description box below. First, select your binding type. So you can choose from hardback and paperback. We're choosing hardback. Select your interior type, then your paper type, and then your turn direction, which is usually left to right. We are choosing inches for the measurement units. Now choose your trim size. Please note there are only five options for hardback covers. Let's compare these to the paperback options. As you can see, we have more choice, including the option to use a custom trim size, which you cannot for hardback. So if you want your books to be the same size for both hardback and paperback, make sure you choose a trim size from the hardback selection. I'm choosing six by nine for both books. Now enter the page count. Click on Calculate Dimensions and this will generate your template. Download your template. This will appear in the bottom left of your screen. Select and open. Open the folder and find the PNG file. They now give you the overall dimension, which is really useful. The pinky red area is a guide on where not to put your artwork and text, ensure it does not cross this line. They've done the same with the barcode. Do not put any text or images in this area. What do we do with that template now, Evelyn? We head over to Canva, which is free to use. Select Create a Design in the top right. Then at the bottom here, select Custom Size. Change the unit to inches. Now add your overall dimensions for the width and height from your template. Click here to create your new design. On the left hand side of your screen, select Uploads and Upload Media, then browse to your template. This will now upload. Once uploaded, select it so it appears on the placeholder and place it in the top left hand corner. Stretch from the bottom right corner. Up here you can lock the template so it doesn't move. Now upload all the artwork ready for your cover. I am now going to add a background. Select and stretch across the whole template. I am now making the background transparent so I can see the template underneath. And again, you can lock this to stop you from accidentally moving it. Now start adding your artwork. Have fun. Make sure it doesn't go in the pinky red area. Oh, this is my favorite part. Yes, mine too. So now I've added all my artwork and I'm going to add the text on the spine. I've got something uploaded here and 
So you can use a text box if you like and type it in. Then spin it round by clicking on the two curly arrows here. Now move it into the spine area. By holding the control key on your keyboard, it will give you more flexibility on exactly where you want to place it. At the bottom of the screen, you can use the zoom tool so that you can magnify your book cover. This will allow you to be more accurate with your spine text. I am now going to unlock the background cover and remove the transparency. Before downloading your book cover, give your design a name. You can type it here. Now select Share. Download and change the file type to PDF print. This is what KDP accept when you design your own cover. Select download. Keep an eye on the download progress here. When the download has completed, you can select it from the bottom left of your screen. And here it is, your hardback cover for KDP. Yay! I think I can do that. Yes, so do I. It's a piece of cake. If you're finding these videos helpful, don't forget to show some love and subscribe.